Hello, this is a short side toolkit uh, tutorial video about the option to let participants go back in a questionnaire. I'm not going to explain too much about how the questionnaire is set up, but you need to understand that we have four questions here. Um, in the easy mode, you can see those questions very easily. Um, let this, uh, let's go back to the regular overview and uh, we see here we have four questions, an age question asking about age, then we have some questions about food, drinks and movies. Let's run that. So when you run this, uh, you can ask what is your age? Let's say I say 18, I click to continue, I select rise as the first uh, answer. I continue, um, select all of the following drinks you had today. Um, I had coffee, water, milk, I had even tea. Um, I continue, uh, which movie do you like best? Let's say the Joker, and then I'm done. So that survey is over. Now I click that uh, tab on my browser. Now go back here and I'm going to uh, download my data file. I should have one participant data file. I prepare data files for download. Um, I can download the file now, um, which I do. When I download, um, I take the data Excel file. I have a look at it. And when you see here, for every participant, you have one line. Of course, there is only one participant. I can see. Uh, I answered 18, I select these uh, drinks that I had, then um, for the third question uh, I said I like the Joker, that was answer 1. Now here this is not so interesting, but now let's um, do this again, let's, let's delete this data file which you can easily do as you go to the bottom. Um, I go back, um, let's see, um, by default I'm allowed to go back in a questionnaire. That option is um, somewhere in between, so we need to find that. Uh, allow participants to go back, uh, that is selected, so they are allowed to do that. Now let's so let's run that um, survey again, and now I'm going to show you what happens. So I say again, first what well, I'm 18, I click to continue, but now say I changed my mind. Oh, I said actually I'm not 18. I can go back, answer again, and now I can say oh I'm 50, or I'm you know whatever I want to say. I'm maybe maybe I said I was not 18, I was 21. Click. Uh, to continue and the other questions I'm not going to well, but I can do the same there say I like the yogurt I say that first I actually I can go back I can now say oh I actually like cats that is the fifth uh, um, movie click to continue now I'm done so I'm going to close this and uh, now I'm going to download my uh, my data file and when I do that um, you see that uh, you remember I answered first I answered 18 and then the second time I answered 21 so that is coded now so when you look at your answers you know you for the for the movies as well I get the fifth movie now so because I went back and I changed okay so now let us see what happens if you um, we do not allow participants to go back so let me uh, allow participants to go back and change questions so let's not allow that I need to save my survey I need to recompile I do that I compile it and now I'm running the same survey I click button so I say the first time I'm 18 I click the button to continue now I go back now, I can go back because you can never technically prevent people from clicking the back button on the browser. That's very important to understand. But now the second answer that I give, say I'm saying 25, 
I'm going to say rice and then I go back and I'm going to give salad um, and now let us see um, I'm going to say joker again go back and then say cats click button okay so done I close this now I'm going to download this data file and I'm going to need to prepare again download a zip file I do that um, look at my Excel file now you can see even though I changed 18 to 25 actually it still codes the first answer that I had given the first time so and it's the same for the movies uh, and so on so participants can go back in the browser but the browser um, so the browser will show the question again people can select another answer but importantly um, site toolkit will remember what the participants answered the first time and that explains the whole uh, allow back option in site toolkit I hope you found this helpful um, there are boards uh, w uh, about site toolkit where you can um, ask uh, questions if you find it helpful um, uh, you, you, you can uh, ask questions there please feel free um, to do so there's this user form um, very handy um, and or make comments below the YouTube video. Thank you.